Weeble Smart Advisor, the new robo-advisor from Weeble. I got an email about this from Weeble in April and reserved my early access. A few days ago, I noticed this little robot icon in the Weeble app, and so I figured the robo-advisor was ready. There isn't a lot of information online about Weeble Smart Advisor. You can find this page on their website, a little bit more information here, but that's really about it. I thought I'd be the guinea pig, create an account so we can all see together the portfolio it creates for me. I imagine if you create a Weeble account today, you might get immediate access to Smart Advisor. If not, just go to this page and sign up for access. If you don't have a Weeble account, you can use my referral link down below to get up to 12 free stocks for signing up and funding your account with any amount. If you're watching this video in the month of May, you could get up to 24 free stocks, double the normal amount. If you just go to Weeble.com or download the app in the App Store and create your account, you won't get the free stock offer. Let's get in the app and set up a portfolio with Weeble Smart Advisor. Opening up the app, you'll see the robo icon along the top. Let's click on that. All right, Weeble Smart Advisor, start a new way to auto invest, simplicity, peace of mind, two in one app. Let's start investing. Okay, so here's what we wanna do. We want to add a portfolio. Risk assessment, please complete this quick risk assessment it will help us better understand your risk tolerance. Start. Which age group do you belong to? 30 to 44. How much investing experience do you have? I have extensive investing experience. Please tell us your estimated annual pre-tax household income. When do we need this money? This isn't something for right now, so I'm gonna put over 10 years. When you hear the term risk related to your finances, what is the first thought that comes to mind? I understand that's an inherent part of the investing process. If your investments went down by 20%, what would you do? I would probably buy more. How do you see yourself investing? I prefer stability over growth. I equally prefer stability and growth. I prefer growth over stability. I prefer growth over stability. All right, so what do I have? Your risk level is growth. So we have equity at 94%, fixed income 2%, commodities 2%, and cash at 2%. So let's see what we can, let's just see what we have here. So equity, we have Let's see, S&P International Small Cap. We have the Dow Jones REIT. We have Dow Jones International Real Estate, it looks like. Portfolio Develop, Wild X US ETF. Portfolio Emerging Markets ETF. Portfolio Europe. Portfolio S&P 400 Mid Cap ETF. Portfolio S&P 600 Small Cap. We have S&P 500. We have the US sector rotation ETF. That seems like one of, so the largest two are down at the bottom, the S&P 500 and the sector rotation. And then if we go down further, let's go to fixed income. So let's see, what do we have? All right, so here we just have two. We have the one to three month treasury bills, and then we have the fixed income sector rotation at 1.5%. And then commodities, we have gold at 2% and 2% cash. Let's just see what it gives us as far as changing the portfolio. Okay, so right now we're at growth. And then if I move things around so I could go to, what's this gonna be? This is, well, less risk obviously, but I don't see the, the name of it. But, and then if I go all the way to the lowest profile risk, we have 25% equities, 71% fixed income, commodities 2%, cash 2%. Let's just see if this changed at all. So. You can see now with the very conservative low risk portfolio, we have quite a bit more variety in terms of the ETFs for the fixed income side of it. But being that it's low risk, there's also things like the high yield bonds that are 4%. But then we have the aggregate bond portfolio, intermediate term, long-term treasury, senior loans, one to 10 year tips ETF. So this is something obviously you can go through the survey that it gives you but if for whatever reason you're not comfortable with the assessment they give you, it's really easy to just go in here and adjust your portfolio to what you think makes the most sense. So I'll go back to, let's maybe take it down one notch to the moderate and see what we get. Okay, so we with this we get 80% equity. It looks pretty similar in, in terms of the ETFs for equity and then fixed income now, we get quite a few more. So. We have the one to three month treasury. We have the intermediate term treasury, long-term treasury, uh, Blackstone senior loans, and then the one to 10 year tips. And then commodities and cash, it looks like stays the same. Let's click on next. Mind you, I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. This is just a test to show you how the portfolios are created within the new Weeble feature. Moving forward though, let's confirm this portfolio. 
Okay. Notice by clicking agree, you authorize Weevil Financial LLC to share your identification information with Weevil Advisors LLC in order to facilitate opening your advisory account. Okay. I agree with that. Weevil Smart Advisor. Okay. There's a bunch of agreements and disclosure, day trading, extended hours, low price securities, Fintra, investor education, electronic delivery of trade and e-signature, and Weevil SIPC info. Click to sign e-signature, all right. Okay, so application was submitted. We will review your account application within one to two business days. Once completed, you will receive a push notification and an email. Sounds good to me. And just back to the home screen. A couple hours later, I got this email from Weeble approving my account. Now it's time to add some money. So let's do that. So I'm gonna imagine we're gonna click on Robo again. Okay, so advisor overview history actions documents. Okay, here, congratulations, your account is opened. We will open a position for you after your deposit settles. Add funds. Okay, ACH, real-time verification. All right, so let's add $100 to our account. All right, deposit amount, bank account, estimated arrival. I understand, confirm. Okay, so it looks like the deposit is initiated. As soon as the deposit is completed, they will auto buy the portfolio that we saw just a second ago. So it looks like I'll be back in a couple of days as soon as the deposit clears, and then we can see what everything looks like with my new portfolio with Smart Advisor. The $100 transfer is complete. There was one day where I had $100 of cash in the account, and then the following day, the investment was made in the various ETFs. Here's what my account looks like now. So to get to the robo advisor, click on the robot. And then here is the summary. So you can see the portfolio is down 12 cents in the last two days or so since the investments were made. And then down below, you'll see the holdings. This is gonna be very, very similar to what we saw just earlier on in the video, but each one has moved slightly since the investments were made. So again, here are all of the different equity ETFs. Then we'll open up fixed income. Here are the fixed income ETFs for commodities. There is gold and then 2% in cash. Here's a spreadsheet I put together that lists all the different ETFs in this portfolio. You have the ticker symbol, the name, the percent of the portfolio currently, the expense ratio, and a description of what the different ETFs invest in. If you wanna learn more about any of the ETFs in this portfolio, check out the description below where I have links to the individual ETFs on State Street's website. After I have more time investing with Weeble Smart Advisor, I'll create a full review video. As soon as that's ready, I'll link to it down below. Also down below, you'll find my referral link if you're interested in signing up for a Weeble account and earning six to 12 free shares. If you wanna learn more about the different features available with Weeble, you can watch this video right here. Hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.